Hello everyone, Douglas Waltz, Old Man Comic Book Reviews, coming at you with a, another big jumbo stack, so we're going to just get right into it. Uh, let's start off with our first year of Ghost Riders done. This is number 12. Ghost Rider number 12, written by Benjamin Piercy, nope, Benjamin Percy, uh, Corey Smith is the penciler, Orrin Jr. is the inker. Um, we found out that Blackheart, who I, I don't know who that is, uh, was taking um, out big giant cities and something happened in Savannah, Georgia. So Johnny and um, his girlfriend decided to head for Savannah, Georgia and Savannah, Georgia is on fire. Uh, then he finds out who it is. Uh, should I tell you? Yeah, I'll tell you. Why not? It's a Ghost Rider. It's just not Johnny Blaze. It is... Uh, Daniel Ketch, or Danny Ketch, who was the second Ghost Rider, I think. I'm not really sure about that either. So this is uh, this is interesting. They brought back the weird-looking helmet thingy and stuff. They didn't, they kept it off the cover, so you wouldn't be like, oh, what is that? So, yeah, Ghost Rider's been a pretty good year. I'm having a good time. Speaking of a good time, they brought back one of my favorite books, although I'm not really thrilled with the, the cover art for this one. This is Barbarella. A new volume of Barbarella, number one, The Center Cannot Hold. Our writer is Sarah Hoyt. Our artist is Ricardo Bogani. Lucky for me, the interior looks nothing like this. I think her face is too round. Barbarella is a little more angular than that. So, um, Barbarella is going to Vix, her little creature buddy, uh, his home. Unbeknownst to uh, Barbarella, however, they don't like her much there. And there's something else going on behind the scenes that she has to get to the bottom of. She runs into a gentleman that looks like James Bond if he was an anthropomorphic rabbit. He drinks carrot teenies. Uh, so they went with a little bit of a silly thing, which is kind of nice. Um, it, apparently Vix belongs to a group called the Architects. And the Architects are way worse than we thought they were. So I'm not sure how many books we're getting. This is issue one. Um, I would assume five, that's just a guess. If we get more, great. Can't ever go wrong with a Barbarella comic book. And After Dark, number five, bringing us flesh-eating cheerleaders from outer space. This book is just a delight. Story and script by James Masia. Art by Philippe Abando. The parasites that are activating in the ladies are getting out of hand. They're eating the sorority boys. To feed themselves. Uh, one girl comes along and kisses three girls and turns them into freaking zombie monster cheerleaders from outer space. Well, what do they call them? Flesh eating cheerleaders from outer space. Uh, one does attack a dude and he manages to kill it. Uh, this is probably one of the kinkier episodes. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in this thing. And just some classic. We, the You can't show nudity. So, like, the girl's completely naked, but her hands are in front of where her nipples would be. That kind of thing. The artwork is great. It's just a fun. It's, it reads like it reads like a B movie. But the girls are on their way to uh, take out everybody in the college town. So we'll see how that goes. I hope that the next issue isn't the last issue because this is this has been a lot of fun. Oh, issue six. Here we go. I hate this place. Great, a oh, great book. Um, our creator writer Kyle Starks. Our uh, creator artist Artyom Topolin, and we have these tough guys that uh, Trudy, the one who's the tough girl, Trudy, are coming to claim her. Uh, giant spiders attack the cows, and the, the hired help have to help. And yeah, the bad guys show up, and we find out exactly why Trudy is as messed up in the head as you could possibly think she would be. Um, a lot of backstory in this issue, but I don't think that the uh, guys are ready for the monsters to come out of the woods at night like they do every night. And there's a cute little uh, Gabby and Trudy before the ranch comic. Very nice. Good book. All right, Jungle Comics number 13. These have been coming out kind of fast and furious. This time they put Xana the Jungle up front, part 7. Of the Queen of the Forbidden Plateau, story and art by Giuseppe 
Pedriali and Roberto Renzi, then Primal, The Jungle Warrior, story is Eric Allen Nelson and Marcelo Bravo, pencils are Eric Allen Nelson, inks are Andrea Perone and Eric Allen Nelson, as always. So uh, Zan's still continuing to tick off the queen, uh, they beat him up, throw him in the pit, they want uh, to make him you know, pay for his crimes against the queen, he actually slaps her in this issue. So, it's like, but well, she started it, so. And, uh, yeah, kind of fun. Uh, Primal, we have the Mercenaries after Primal. This one has, a, I don't know if they were kind of working us into the nudity, but there's a bunch of it now. Uh, the first few issues weren't. And then you get just some amazingly large pieces of artwork that are just, hello, I'm pretty sure I can see your kidneys. So, but I love a good jungle comic, and that's what both of these particular stories are in this one uh, and I like the thing that they don't have a page in the back they use the back page of comic book art that's kind of cool oh all right what's next I'm not even looking oh dead boy detectives number three this is that person with the name that I don't want to say in my out louds so the writer's porn sack Pichotti. Jeff Stokely is our artist we left the boys the dead boy detectives with all of their new monstrous ghosty friends and there are these little uh, monsters trying to attack all of them so now they have to uh, help one of the dead boy detectives we find out that the little pudgy guy turns into a giant snake um, he's not as bad as he thinks he is he's just got a big game going so it's it's an interesting story it's you know dead boy detectives and you get to find out the origin of another one of the, the kids. He got his neck snapped because he was being bullied. He tried to get away and the bully was holding too tight. And snap! It deals a lot with, um, I think a lot of these monsters are just a, basically victims of abuse. Most of the kids that are in this had some sort of traumatic taking them out kind of thing. Oh, number 58, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, uh, story Ian Flynn, Art Thomas... Rollis Burger. Uh, I mentioned last issue that Sonic finally called for help. So uh, to answer the call, we get uh, Tangle the Lemur, Whisper the Wolf, Lanel and the Sheep, Amy Rose, Miles, Tails, Prower, Silver the Hedgehog, and Blaze the Cat all show up to help fight the giant robots that Robotnik's always constantly beating people up with. Uh, the best team, of course, is always um, Tangle and Whisper. Uh, they added Lanel into their team, and they uh, they call themselves uh, the Diamond Cutters. So they decide to be a team together and go help the help the good guys fight the bad guys. Amy Rose does use her giant hammer to knock a robot's head off with a big heart, and it says Pico. So classic Sonic the Hedgehog stuff going on here, and most of it is a fight. Uh, they also found out Robotnik is making, or I'm sorry, Eggman. I'm old. It's Robotnik. Uh, Eggman is making giant uh, false chaos crystals that if you try to blow them up it will take everything out and then the bad guys show up Team Dark with Rouge the Bat and uh, uh, Shadow and another guy I don't know so yeah, this is one. Oh, what do we got what do we got uh, is that the last one yes uh, number 10, Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty. Yes, that's MODOK on the cover. See, MODOK's apparently in the new Ant-Man Wasp movie, so they're going to make you see a lot of MODOK. And I heard he looks awful. Uh, writers are Jackson Lansing and Colin Kelly. Artist is Carmen Carnero. Uh, everyone is stuck in a mind control thing that ends with a bang, basically. And... They all are trying to get out and they just can't do it because they don't have a good enough reason is the way I look at it. Because uh, the Destroyer shows up and just craps on MODOK's plans. This old, old man. And they did this really neat thing with it. Everyone he helps, it's a two-page spread with lots of action, lots of dialogue. Every time he goes to help somebody else, another two-page spread. Um... Yep, see, another two-page spread because he's helping somebody else. So the Destroyer, I always liked the Destroyer in the old Invader comics. I thought he was cool. Uh, plus, it's always good to see an old man take out MODOK. Uh, there's a death in the end of it, but Marvel and their death is a joke, so who cares? 
they always say they're killing somebody and then you know oh we really need this guy back is it alright if we get him back yes apparently it's alright to get him back if they did a mini series with the guy that killed at the end of this issue uh, and put him into like a TV show on Disney they'd bring him back that's how that works so um, so Sophie Fiona I heard you learned a new uh, app on your messages with Aunt Andy so uh, you're sending her little voice things which I heard is fun um, didn't see you this week it is March so we'll have a sleepover sometime uh, this week no this month and because uh, April is double sleepover of course but so, in the meantime, the rest of you, as I always tell you, uh, go to your comic book shop, Midas Fanfare. If you give them $5 a year, they will give you a 20% discount on all new books. Um, if you don't live anywhere around here, check with your comic book place. Um, see if they do discounts like that, if you're interested. There's a comic book out there for everybody. I mean, I went with the gamut from a, a blue hedgehog to Captain America to two lesbians at a cow farm surrounded by monsters. All in one freaking bad so um so there's something for everybody i promise if you have this weird thing that you like there's probably a comic book uh rumor is rick flair is going to get a comic book i'm so excited because we can all grab the comic book at the comic book store and go Woo! All right. so uh and if you can't online comics digital comics um library comics the library has digital as well so you can read them they're out there you want to read a comic book that's the way to do it so, thanks for listening. I'll see you all next week. Go read a comic book.